stated the Holy Prophet وسلم, addressed his companions وَإِذَا مَرَضُ رِيَادُ الْجَنَّةِ that when you pass by the gardens of paradise فَرْتَعُوا then you should graze abundantly in those gardens consume in those gardens so the surprise on this point was for the companions that the gardens of paradise, where are they? And they requested, O Prophet of Allah وسلم, where are the gardens of paradise? And Allah's Nabi replied, Halaku dhikr, Halaka al dhikr. The gatherings of dhikr, the gatherings of the remembrance of Allah, they are the gardens of paradise. So, Fartau, that eat abundantly, immensely. So, what does it mean to eat, to graze? That this is the food for the ruh, the soul that you attain from the gatherings. Because the spirit, the ruh is connected to the heavens and the body is connected to the earth. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for the ruh, the soul from the heavens. Just like on the earth, within the earth, Allah has prepared resources for the body. There's uh, rice, there's vegetables, there's food items through which the body of a person is nourished. So for the ruh, the soul, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar Subhanallah So these kalamat, when they recited the soul of the human being Then it attains nourishment and it attains energy, it develops power When the ruh, soul develops energy, then that person, he attains the qurb, the nearness to Allah That's why the pious predecessors have stated that to attain Allah's qurb Nenis, best tariqah, the best amal, action is the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah. And whoever has this passion, that he wants Allah's nenis, connection, get close to Allah, then Allah's defined that path to him and that is the dhikr of Allah. So the dhikr of Allah, kathir, do it in that way, that the sheikh, your teacher, your ustad, he guides you, that do dhikr in this way, According to that, in your life, bring dhikr into your life, inshallah, Allah's qurb nenis, the human being will attain. So, bigger than this, what greater nema can there be than this from Allah? That a person doesn't stop doing his work in the world, he's consumed in the world, occupied in the dunya, but he's also drawing nearer to Allah. So this is a great name of Allah, great treasure of Allah. And this is Allah's extreme grace and mercy that today in these days of blessings, the, the days of hajj, how our hearts Allah Ta'ala has turned towards his dhikr, he has sat us down. And it looks very easy to do this. We've come down here, sat down, done dhikr in the masjid, but we don't know that to do the dhikr of Allah, what great rewards there are, how valuable is the dhikr of Allah. And the hadith is stated, the Holy Prophet وسلم, said this a hadith in Mishqat. Qulu la ilaha illallah yadkhulu al-jannah. That la ilaha illallah say it and enter into paradise. What power there is in this karma? Think about it. Imam Mujaddad al-Uftani rahmatullahi stated that imagine here how much power there must be in this karma, how much barakah there must be in this karma, that by saying it once, the human being, doesn't matter how big a mushri is, if he's an idol worshipper, disbeliever, if he says it once after such a long time he recites this karma, where does he go? He, kufr is finished, the shirk is finished, rather he goes so close to Allah, Allah says, enter into paradise. So ajib, unique, they've stated, that in reality, the baraka nobody can understand of this kalimam. That if, if this is just, just 
if you recite it once, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the whole of the universe Allah can, of mankind Allah can forgive. That's how much power there is in this kalima. So how much Allah's grace that those who do the dhikr of Allah has given them the tawfiq ability to recite this. Imagine this yourself. That we sit down, we'll do dhikr of Allah. Then imagine how powerful our ruh becomes, our soul. How much Allah Ta'ala's rahmah and barakat come. And he stated, he said himself, that from the dhikr of Allah, from this kalima, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the whole of the universe, Allah distributes barakat. And even then the barakat does not end. What a unique thing this is, alhamdulillah. The friends of Allah, they adopted this path of dhikr of Allah. Tazkiyah, purification, is a massive action. Understand this is a treasure gift that you sit in a gathering. Allah has taken you today in this day and age. You know what day and age we're passing through? Person can't even pray salah. He can't even pray salah. Yes, if you do a good action, it's very hard to do it. This is the era we're in. The generation, the conditions, the circumstances around us. We are in the era of fitna. So today our children, if we bring them towards this, sit them down, instill love for dhikr in their hearts, then the children will do this. And if you do this with love and passion, and so it's such an easy path Allah has given us this formula of love to be saved from the fitna of this era. There's a meaning, meaning of the hadith that the dirtiest generation will be the generation of Dajjal and fitna. And that has started. That has started. That this, the, the era of Dajjal has already started. All the signs have descended. They've come. They've arrived. So for this, the protection that Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has prescribed in that day and age to the Sahaba Kram, the noble companions, they were so fearful about Dajjal when they heard about Dajjal that they, start, they were scared. They were anxious. There are many stories about their fear, their anxiety, their nervousness that he might come any time. Yeah, but their iman was strong. We have no fear. We're not scared of anything. We have no concern. So... So to save ourselves from the fitna, Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi has prepared for us the resource. The wahid, that individual alone will be saved from the fitna of Dajjal who does the dhikr of Allah, who remembers Allah. So alhamdulillah, Allah's garam grace, He gives us a bit of tawfiq, Allah gives us the ability. That, what do we do? Do it yourself, encourage your friends, invite them, the people you know and love. As long as you have the courage, determination and power, sit down and continue to do the dhikr of Allah. Great na'am. Great name Allah's Fadl, His grace. Then various masajid Allah gives us the tawfiq for us to move around, wander around. So when dhikr takes place, then run there, okay? Don't be lazy. Yes, don't be lazy in these actions. And remember this, if you're lazy in this, then you have failed. You will fail. Yes, just wrap up your dunya things. It's dhikr time now. There's no great action than this at this moment in time. The best place right now, at this moment, better than this. There's no better way to pass the time or tariqa than this. Than the dhikr of Allah. So, you're not favoring anybody, you're not, um, it's not that, for example, your status is being increased. No, it's Allah's Fadal Karam, He sat us down to remember Him. So, come on, let's for a short while do Jahar loud dhikr. Recite the Rushri. اللهم صل على محمد الذي يسوع شيخ اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واصلحنا واصلحنا واجعلنا خطبنا من كل صلاة اللهم اغفر لنا ما قدمت وما خلت واصلت وما لم تنتهنا به أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر لا إله إلا أنت يا حي يا قيوم بنعمتك نستغيث ربنا أعطينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقنا عذاب القبر وقنا عذاب العشر وقنا عذاب الميزان اللهم نسلك الله في العافية والعطاء في الدنيا وعلينا ما أحسن عقبتنا في جمهور كلية وجنة من خزد العذاب الآخر اللهم عافنا في بدني لما عافنا في السمي لما عافنا في بسر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم عافنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم عينا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم عينا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اللهم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم اللهم اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط النبيين صدقين شهداء وصالحين وحسن اولئك الذين اللهم استعبنا بسنته ونفعنا بمحبته 
Başınla bir zorla diyecek kadar. Rabbana hamdullah min azvacina ve zuriyatina. Kula ta'ayin ve zannel muttakina Allah. Ve lihvanizan sabakuna bin iman ve la tajal fi kulubuna. İlla lezine amin. Rabbana inna ve uvulayin. Ve sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri fulkehi nuri açşehi zinete fulşehi. Ve alihi ve sahbi cimayin ve rahmeti kaşi Allah ve rahimin. سبحان ربك رب العزة يوم يصفون سلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين